of your new police state. The magnitude of anything uh, that, that magnitudinally will significantly deplete uh, the, uh, the per student funding going to the schools is what it does to the small areas where they don't have room for two school districts. These small communities where Harrison uh, uh, is, a good, is an example uh, is that if it is significantly diminutive, if the net impact of it, the fiscal impact, a, a good fiscal note, a multi-year fiscal note, if it's significantly diminutive, the funds that are available, I'd have, I'd have to take a good hard look on it and see what the impacts of it. Because we, just because of the shape of Idaho, uh, just because of the way, you know, the, the climate and everything else, we have, you know, we used to have 2,000 schools, school districts. They went to 1,000, went to 500, then we went down to 100. Now with the charter schools, we're up to about 160, 155. And we've got some uh, that we still need to consolidate, some of these rural areas or the public schools. I am, I am for choice. I'm for opportunities. You know, the Blaine Amendment was a condition of all the states that came in uh, uh, at, after some point in time to basically maintain some separation uh, church and state separation, that was the impact of it. It's not specifically called the Blaine Amendment. It's language that, that was, it was just like what we were required to do to say we weren't going to, uh, we would forever not claim deed to the federal land. That's, that's, that was in our Constitution and our Admissions Act. Those are conditions that we came in. I'm agnostic about that, but I am concerned about anything that might create that every little community says we're going to start our own and then the state's going to send them money but it'll be money that be come from taxes go to the parents and come back and that they that they know school their kids and get the money back that's what i'm concerned about we've got the most robust homeschooling and the greatest homeschooling of any state but we we want to make sure uh, that that we don't just leave the option to where they get state money for no schooling if they want to take their kids out, which I don't advocate unless they're an active, and we give them all kinds of tools. We give them technology. We help them. We've got all these other platforms for them. But these kids, the, the logarithmic changes in what the workforce needs, we got to have these kids educated. And if some parent wants to not have their kids educated, the state shouldn't be a part of that. Uh, the, uh, the state should be there to make sure those kids get educated. So. Oh, the things I find strange.